Namaste and welcome to my channel. Arman Malik was born in 1995 in Mumbai, Maharashtra, India. He's an award-winning singer, songwriter, vocalist and guitarist. And he's also known for his singing in many different Indian languages. He's also featured as a coach on the show The Voice India. And he was actually the youngest, or is still, the youngest coach in the history of the show. This particular song is a performance of the song Buta Bomma. And this song's lyrics were by Rama Jogavya Sastri and the music was written by S. Taman. So Buta Bumalu is a folk dance that's popular in Tanuka, Andhra Pradesh and literally means basket toys. And I'll read a little bit more about it. So uh, these basket toys are made of wood husks or dry grass and, and cow dung. And the dancers wear different masks over their heads and their shoulders. And they use a non-verbal rhythm which adds colour to the movements. So the song is sort of based on that dance and is from a movie. And the movie is Ala Vekunta Puramulu. And this was released in January 2020 and is in Telugu. It's an action drama film and stars Alu Arjan and Puja Hedge. The director of the show was is or was Trivikram Srinivas. So I'll tell you a little bit about the show. So following his growing up, enduring criticism from his dad, a young man who is Alu Arjan in the movie, finds his life rocked by learning he was switched at birth with a millionaire's son. So anyway, let's hear this live performance from Arman Malik of Butaboma. I'm really, really happy to sing this song for you, brother. This is my second song after Beautiful Love from Nape to Surya. And thank you, Thaman, sir, for this beautiful song. Put the bomba. Hello, check. All the chorus mics on, please. All the chorus mics. Put the bomba, put the bomba. Nanu sutu kunti de Sindhigi ke atta pangai Janta kattu kunti de
performance by Arman Malik of Butaboma. Wow. And you could see S. Tarman was on keyboards there and also Alu Arjam was in the audience. Ha oh. Let's go back and hear some things I wanted to highlight in, in his performance. There's so many things, so we'll get straight into it. Let's start with his rich low tone and let's hear an example from this point. <laughs> Put the video up. He just has a really nice resonance in his low register there. It's beautiful the tone he gets. Let's hear it again. Yep, beautiful. And from this point, he goes into his mid range, and there's a sweetness in his tone and the timbre to his voice here. That's so nice. Let's hear from just I'll go back a little bit. And his voice is just floating with that smooth silkiness. Above the instrumental accompaniment. Oh, wow. Let's hear that again. Wow, so nice, right? And let's go now and hear some of his stronger passages where he demonstrates the strength in his voice which is here <laughs> Demonstrates the strength in his voice and the power 
he has this point Yes, excellent. And now let's go into some of his higher end of some of the higher end of his vocal range. It's beautiful as well. <laughs> Oh, it's really, really good, right? Let's lead into it again. Lead into it. From here. Just, I'll stop it again. Listen to the dynamic variation he gets too. Some notes are louder than others, some are softer than others, and variation in between just really colours the music well. Play it again. Yeah, beautiful, right? Let's go now to, well, talking about dynamics, let's go to somewhere... Oh, it's here. It's a little bit quieter, just that variation again. Beautiful. And now he's into louder dynamics, more powerful at this point. Okay, let's have a listen to some of the alankar that he uses, the ornamentation. And the first one is murki, sort of a trill. There are a couple of examples there and there's more coming up but just let me go back so it's buta boma it's that's in slow motion buta boma in fast ah uh, that's the trill ah uh, something like that anyway but you'll hear the way he does it. it's way better than me Right, let me play it again. Beautiful. Quite a few murki in that. And another example, just a little bit further on. Of murki. <laughs> Okay, so let's go back and hear that. So it was the first one. Multiplex audience The other aunt, aunt Murki, but the first one was. But it's all so well controlled, everything in that passage. Wow. And let's go to another place in the song further on and have a listen. Yeah, so sometimes he adds in that murki and other times he sings it straight. For variation, it's so good. Let's hear it again. Right, 
And let's hear some other Alankar ornamentation that he does that's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Whoa, let's hear that again. And let's go further on and hear another example. Okay, let's hear it again. Yes. It's just so beautifully I'll go again. I, the first time I didn't have it far enough back in the track. Let's see that again now. Oh, and there's Alu Arjan as well. Beautifully done, right? Oh, wow. And let's just have a look here. So... I'm not a hundred percent sure this could I think this is a Bansuri flute. I might be wrong. I, I think it's a Bansuri, but not sure, but beautiful as well. I'll play that again and we'll just hit right to the <laughs> Just to point out once again, that's Let's go back again. That's S. Tarman who wrote the music to this song. Excellent, right? And brilliant band as well. And yeah, backing Arman Malik. So there's so much to love and. What a great performance. I hope you enjoyed my reaction today to Arman Malik and the song Butta Boma. See you next time. Danyavad.